I'm Matthias Knapp of Opalesk, and today I'm visiting Jasper Capital in their Shenzhen and Hong Kong offices. Jasper is a quantitative investment manager with over eight years of experience in China's domestic equities markets. Today, I will be speaking with senior portfolio manager and the head of Jasper's quantitative investment team, Dr. Bo Huang, to learn more about the firm's unique approach to capturing alpha in China's retail-driven domestic equities market. I will then be dropping by Jasper's Hong Kong offices to meet with their head of business development and investor relations, Benjamin Pollock, to learn more about how the firm offers international investors access to Jasper's China A shares strategies. Hi, Matthias. Welcome to our Shenzhen office. Come on in and let me show you around. Please. Hi, Bo. It's a pleasure to be here, and thank you for having me. Jasper Capital is a quantitative investment firm focused solely on China A shares. Please introduce the firm. Sure, Matthias. Jasper Capital was designed since inception in 2013 to take advantage of the unique mispricing and arbitrage opportunities that exist in the China A share market. We are one of the earlier quantitative investors in the China A share market, and we have developed a very comprehensive suite of technical, fundamental, alternative data, and event driven signals and models by a team of more than 20 very experienced quantitative researchers and PMs. We offer our investors three core strategies to access the China A share opportunity sets. They are quantitative loan only, quantitative market neutral, and quantitative directional. The Shenzhen office is Jasper Capital's headquarters. This is where many of our researchers, portfolio managers, technologists, and traders are based. Bo, oh, please tell me a bit about your own background and what you feel distinguishes Jasper Capital from other managers in this space. My academic background is in operations research and machine learning. I started my career in quantitative finance as a quant strategist for Bank of America Merrill Lynch and then went on to work for Arxos Capital, which was a US-based electronic market maker. In terms of what distinguishes Jasper from its peers, I would say there are four main elements. One, unique and diversified data sets, including higher frequency tick level data, alternative data, and fundamental information. Two, uh, we have internally developed IT infrastructures. Three, a multidisciplinary approach towards developing signals from diverse data sets. And finally, a long track record operating in China. The, the market microstructure, investor behavior, and the regulatory environment is quite different from more developed markets. Local knowledge is key for developing high quality alpha signals that work in China. Why should investors allocate to China? And what are the primary sources for alpha generation in China's domestic equities markets? China's equity market is large, very liquid, and still rapidly developing. Yet despite these favorable features, Many allocators and global investors remain underweight as China was not represented in major indices for a long time, and benchmarking has therefore created a forced underweight exposure. China is clearly a big part of the world, so in our view, it will be an important part of investors' portfolios. In terms of the source of access return in the Asia market, we see two primary sources. The first coming from mispricings that are created due to the retail-driven nature of the market. The second is more market microstructure related.
And could you share more about the investment process used to extract alpha from these two potential sources? Our investment framework consists of four components. One, single alpha factor research. Two, alpha factor integration. Three, portfolio construction and optimization. And four, algorithm execution. Currently, if you look at our investment team, we have over 20 investment professionals working on the development, enhancement, and maintenance of these four components. Many of these team members' primary focus is developing high-quality and uncorrelated alpha factors. This is the most important element of our overall investment framework and strategy. Currently, we have over 500 signals in production and many more in our signal library. So, from these 500 plus single alpha signals, how do you construct the portfolio? Before portfolio construction begins, we first integrate individual signals into a forecasting model. We use a machine learning based nonlinear approach to integrate signals. There are two advantages of using a nonlinear approach. One, we can capture a more complex relationship across factors. Two, we can add categorical features to the model which can give a valuable description of the nature of the stock. For instance, the current market environment or something even like the day of the week which can be helpful for the nonlinear combinations. The forecasting model from this integration process is the input into our portfolio construction and optimization. The portfolio construction takes our integrated forecasting signal, our risk model, transaction and hedging cost assumptions, and the risk constraints as the primary input. We run an optimization process where the objective is to maximize the information ratio relative to our benchmark, and the outcome of this process is our target portfolio. And in this process, how do you control for exposures to systematic risk factors such as value, size, or growth? Is there any style drift or tilt to the portfolio? We use BARA risk model to control for style and industry specific risk. In addition to this risk model, the portfolio also has specific constraints on single position size, liquidity, and turnover. Given these constraints and relatively high turnover of the portfolios, we don't have any significant style tilts to common risk factors. So, would you consider Jasper a high frequency? quantitative hedge fund. In terms of our signal frequency and portfolio turnover, I would describe Jasper as a mid-frequency quant manager. Our annual turnover is around 50 times, which equates to a holding period of a little over a week, but can be higher or lower depending on underlying market conditions such as trading volume level and other measurements of the market activity. This said, slippage is still important. One of the things we have done to address trading frictions is develop our own internal algo trading based upon higher frequency alpha signals. Our own algos have done an excellent job in reducing overall slippage. So, we are traveling around 20 miles down south to visit Jasper Capital Hong Kong Limited and learn a bit more about how Jasper provides international investors with access to its investment programs. Hi Matthias, welcome to our office. It's a pleasure to be here. I just finished speaking to Bo in Shenzhen, and I'm excited to hear more about your Hong Kong office. Thanks, Matthias. The Hong Kong office was set up in December 2017 with the purpose of connecting international investors with Jasper Capital's China A share focused strategies. In Hong Kong, we're registered with the SFC as a Type 4 and Type 9 entity, and in the United States, we're registered with the SEC as a registered investment advisor. 
The team here in Hong Kong is composed of four people, including investment, operations, investor relations, and trading staff. And all strategies run from the Hong Kong office are sub-advised by Jasper Capital International in Shenzhen, providing quantitative research, modeling, and portfolio construction advice. As I understand it, there are still some hurdles or constraints in terms of accessing the full opportunity set in mainland China. Can you explain what can be accessed from Hong Kong and what are the challenges? The way international investors can gain exposure to the China A shares market has become a lot easier in recent years. Now, prior to 2014, the only way to gain access to the complete universe was by having your own QFI license. With the introduction of the Stock Connect channel in 2014, November, as well as the expansion of that channel in December of 2016, there are now more access points. Jasper Capital Hong Kong primarily gains access via Stock Connect as well as QFI on Swap. We also more recently applied for our own QFI license, which in the future will allow us to invest directly and gain exposure to things like IPOs as well as index futures for shorting purposes. Now, if you look at our long-only performance for us, our strategy, which we run offshore as well as onshore, you'll find that there's really negligible difference in terms of excess return and tracking error uh, because the universes are the same and the models are the same. If you look at the market neutral product, despite the same models, you'll find that the onshore and offshore performance does differ due to the hedging instruments used. Onshore, there's more options as well as greater flexibility in terms of the ability to use index futures. Whereas offshore, the hedging instruments at this point in time are relatively limited to the index swap short, which is a term swap. And how do investors access Jasper's strategies offshore? We offer the possibility to invest either via fund or managed account. For managed account, we offer more customized solutions to meet individual investor requirements in terms of leverage, risk exposure, or restrictions on individual securities. And finally, one last question. Where is the best place to stay updated on the firm and strategy performance? The best way to stay up to date on what's happening to Jasper is by visiting our investor portal. This portal provides all fund strategy as well as firm-related information. It is updated very frequently, including our monthly newsletter, which is sent out towards the end of each month. Once again, it was a pleasure speaking with you and Bo today, and I look forward to monitoring the firm's progress. Same here, Matthias. Really enjoyed the conversation and looking forward to meeting in person, hopefully in 2022.